Hey, how's it going? My name is Zakaria Rabani. I'm the studio coordinator of sculpture at Anderson Ranch Art Center. Today I'm going to show you a couple toys or tricks um, that you can make from home with office supplies, things you can find around your house, mostly your school supplies. And these are things that I've learned since I was a kid. I've developed them as I've gotten older. I still play with them. I still uh, use them in games and I use them mostly in my art practice. I like to create these environments for people to make these objects and to play and have fun. Uh, so today we're gonna work on a paper airplane. This is my version. I'd love to see how yours turns out or if you have another way of doing it. And I'll show you a couple other things I've made along the way. Let's check them out. All right, so I just wanted to show you a couple of the toys or tools that we've used uh, in the past. Some of these that I use in my work. Um, we have the paper airplane here, which we'll get into soon. Uh, here we have a gum cannon, um, traditional paper ball. Sometimes I'll layer them to get larger sizes. We have a paper wasp. You can fold these up into uh, paper and use a rubber band to kind of fling them around. I also have a paper clip version. Then we also have a satellite. So this is just an eraser uh, with staples or paper clips kind of pushed through it. Uh, these are good for your school classroom ceilings. One of my favorites <clears throat> is the blow dart. So these you can just kind of fold out of a paper into like a cone shape. And you get your tube and you can kind of just funnel these into there. Takes a little practice and maybe we'll make a video later on. Um, and then it kind of just shoots out the other end. That's just a couple of these. I have other uh, toys. I know that there are hundreds and hundreds of other ones out there that other people and kids and uh, artists have made. These are just a couple of the ones that I have here. Uh, I've also made slingshots and other things and I'll kind of post some photos in the, in the video. All right, let's get to the paper airplane. Okay, so first up, we're gonna make a paper airplane. All right, so you just need a piece of paper. You can draw on it. This is a piece of printer paper. It can be from anywhere. All right, you're gonna fold it like a hot dog. Okay, long ways. Try to make sure the corners match up. I like to press down the middle and then work my way the outsides. Okay, then you're gonna flip one corner in. So this is how I flip my corner in. Okay, try to get it all the way flush with the bottom. Okay, like so. Now, whatever you do to one side, you're gonna do it to the other. And then we're gonna do this process two more times. So you're still wanting to meet that corner down at the bottom. So I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna try and meet this edge, keeping everything nice and tight and clean. Okay, flip on that edge. I'm gonna press down and just follow there. One last time. Flip this corner, flip it over to meet this edge. We're, okay, we're going to meet that edge again. Now you have paper airplane. You can take, push your fingers into the bottom and push it up. Okay, so it should look something like this. Now a couple other things you can do for adjustment. Okay is you can always add weight to the front. So you can put a paper clip or you could add tape. All right, so by now you should have uh, some sort of paper airplane. Uh, this is how I make mine. I'd love to see how you make yours or how this version came out. Last up.
Give it a throw.